So I'm in a very proud of my mom's oven because she makes the best treats. And and the igniter is broken, so we're gonna fix it. And the reason is, is because if gas was running and then the igniter just randomly started working, the house would go kabam, explode. Which I don't want, because I still want my mom to bake wonderful treats. So let's get started. Okay. This is the hard screw because there's actually like this um open hole by me and I don't want to let the screw fall in so I'm trying to be really careful with the screw. Yes, look at this, the old igniter. I can see it's been used a lot because that is not very shiny anymore. I think this might actually be something like ferrite. So this is my old igniter, and this is my new igniter. As you can see, this one is way more sparkly. This one, not so much. This one, I took off the housing to see if there's any screws so I could get this thing apart to see what was inside it. But no, so probably at some point I'll either use this to create arcs or something like that in between there. But actually the reason we replaced it is because um, there, it looks like there was greases on um, the igniter, so that um, made it not work anymore. So we cannot touch this, the top gray part. So I think now me and my dad are gonna put it back together. And then we'll show you the oven before. And when it's now, done, I'm going to screw in the igniter. So now we have the new igniter screwed in. And here is the old igniter. So now we are going to install the rest of the um, oven and show you again. All right. So I'm actually plugging in the igniter right now. But um, before you do that, you should probably unplug the oven because you don't want to create a giant spark. Unless there's a spark suppressor, which I cannot currently see. So, let's plug it in. So, this hook and this little prongy thing right there, that goes in over like that. But then get it out, but then again to get it out, you just pull up on that and then pull it out. So we have it on, we have it plugged in and now we're ready to install on the inside of the oven more stuff. So we have installed the igniter and, and not really any of the safety plates. Right now we're just checking to make sure the oven works. So I'm gonna go and check. And so you should start to see the oven, you should start to see an orangish red glow coming from there. That's the igniter. That's the preheating of the igniter. The igniter will preheat to get so hot that it will actually ignite the gas. So all we have to do is wait. Now I can actually get a clear look of everything in there only because of the light of the igniter. There's no, our light isn't on, and there we go. The gas just lit. I think that solved our problems from the broken igniter. Nice job, igniter. And also, remember to like and subscribe. I'm just gonna click it off. The, and the igniter has stopped glowing, but the gas is still on. It'll stay on for a bit, but then it'll eventually shut off. Like that. So, we as you see, we tested the oven and it works good. So now we're gonna install all the safety plates. There we go, that one is tight.
Now our oven is officially repaired. Remember to like and subscribe.